Scorpio, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It's an energy reading for Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising sign for the week ahead. This is how it's timeless, guys. It's timeless because it comes to you when you are meant to hear it. You call it in. So let's roll. This is where we begin, Scorpio. Life is speeding up. Oh, okay. All right, that's always good to hear. This is Gemini energy. It is Gemini season, so we could be getting some sort of time frame already. Um, but you see those antlers right there? It's almost like a wind-up toy for me. It always looks like things are, you're, they're, they're unraveling to push you forward. Or they're winding up. It's like it's almost like they're finally making sense because it's Gemini energy is attached to the intellect, right? So it's almost like oh, everything's finally making sense, and now it's starting to spin forward. So there's learning, there's aha moments, um, there's intel and information that's coming in, and we're gonna get into all of that. Um, Scorpio. This is a message for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It is an energy reading. It comes to you at just the right time, but I always do a reading for Scorpio every single week. So remember to subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content and when I go live, you know, so you can participate in the channel. Don't forget, if you're looking for a personal reading, I absolutely do those. Check out my website, www dot porn without boundaries tarot.com you there's a link down in the in the uh, description box there's a link in my bio you'll find it go to the page you can book and schedule on the website whatever reading i offer a lot of them so i uh, a few i offer i offer enough <laughs> enough for me um find the one that's right for you and then book and schedule right there it's about a 24-hour turnaround period that I can get you the reading. So that's pretty quick. Wow. Oh, we got a lot of stuff that's have been happening in the past. So there's lots of questions or energy from the past that needed to wrap itself up, which is very interesting. And that's actually very liberating. So I'm glad for you guys. Okay. Let's cleanse the energy, Scorpio. <coughs> Scorpio. Lots from the past. Yeah, but what's coming in the future? I don't know. We're going to start where we start, okay? Start way back here. Think on your feet and time for a beginner mind. So there was a forced beginning, a new beginning that you, you didn't, I don't think it, you didn't, you, you didn't necessarily get to choose to begin again. Um, this would have been a beginning that was improvised because ultimately there was something that you just needed. Now, time for a beginner mind implies that maybe you needed it. Maybe this was your idea, but it could also be, you know, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius and Aquarius could have nothing to do with the associated signs, just the energy associated with those signs. So it's like you had to sort of expand and grow your life and start over, or you were looking for a new start. You were looking for something new or a new beginning. It's almost like, I, got, I just got to get out of this. I just got to get, get out of here. Or I have to act quickly and jump into something that is new to me. But I know it's like, I know it's like the best bet. I know it's like the, the, the best thing for me. So that would have happened a, while, a little while ago. Maybe a couple of months ago. I don't think it's years ago. But certainly it would have happened. It, it would have happened. It, it's, not, it's not just last week kind of thing. Okay? Okay? And then we have you see clearly now, which means suddenly realizing, oh, this is the direction I'm facing, or this is what I'm really wanting, or a truth came out, a realization. 
and we're going to get more information on that too. Um, but there's a, a sense of, I see clearly now, it's like, it's like when you started, it was kind of rushed. And then suddenly there's a truth or a realization, or you were actually noticed or seen. So you, or I don't know, somebody you're dealing with may have started something new without telling you. They just needed a fresh start or a fresh break. And then all of a sudden it was like, I'm spotted, right? Like by, by those eyes that can see in the night, it could have been somebody who tried to do something on the DL or just maybe not maliciously, didn't have time to tell somebody, you know, like, like a sense of, but now you're spotted. Now it becomes clear that this new thing is starting. And then we have make your dreams real. Now that is definitely scorpionic energy. This sense of this is the time to strike. This is the time to plunge into something that um, this is the time to start whittling and um, weaving um, and take advantage of something, which I know from your former readings, this is it. It's almost like you spotted um, an opportunity and you just had to hit the road and go with it. And this is a sense of like legitimately putting it all together and making it all work. Well, guess what, my friend? This is what God is telling you because he's just trying to say all that stuff that you've been lead doing to lead up to this moment is about to take off in the 3D real world, right? Because we have those antlers, which is the air energy of Gemini, but we also have the hooves and that's earth energy. So it's like, almost like, it's almost like finally being able to put your ideas on the road and set them off and get them going. It's like, it's like, Get ready because the windup has already happened and now everything's about to take off. I want to clarify what was this thing you saw clearly? The hanged man. So, what you saw clearly was that you were stuck or that you were going to stay stuck and you didn't want to stay stuck. And in other words, what was seen clearly was suddenly like something wasn't going anywhere, right? Um, maybe you were handling too many things and you had to try to find a way. This is the six of pentacles. You, you had a lot of opportunities and it's like you had to find a way to like even them out and, and put all the, the, like put all your ducks in a row kind of like, and, and um, sort of participate evenly across the board in all of these different opportunities or put your hand in a few different pots to kind of see what was out there, right? Or there were opportunities that came in for you um, after being stuck. There was confusion, four of cups, I don't know which one to choose. Okay, that, make, that makes sense. Well, guess what? The choice is here. That, that's what all of this information is leading me up to. That you're going to be able to make the choice or somebody's going to be able to make the choice about you. And things are going to start moving forward. We haven't gotten any future cards. Let, that's, that's weird. Let's, let's get into, though, the uh, seven card spread. I'm going to do the resolution cards over here. The seventh day, we're going to go over here. What's going on the seventh day? Okay. It's almost like something that you had once valued, you don't want anymore. That's interesting. Let's go through each of the days this week and see where they take us, okay? Day one. This is you. It's almost like you've invented a new version of yourself. You've taken on a new idea or understanding of what you're capable of. And you get your resurrection. You get your new chance. You get your restart. That's what it's saying. This is your energy. You get your restart. You get your new life. You get your refreshed. You get your, all the, all the old stuff is dead. Which is interesting because we're all in the past here. But it's almost like the past is over. Like you're finally liberated from whatever you were stuck in. That's day one. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is either an energy in your life or an actual person. She's very stable. She's very organized. You know, she's very good at taking care of other people's product or other people's uh, money. 
She's just very responsible. This is responsible, steadfast, and respectful energy. It's also nurturing. This could be a Virgo. It could be a Taurus. It could be a Capricorn in your life. Or just somebody who is very reliable, very dependable. Third day, we have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is leaving and getting away. Being walked away from or walking away from something. It's having so much on your mind that you feel stuck and you feel burdened and you feel isolated. It could even be being hoodwinked or taken advantage of. It's interesting because it's almost like we're kind of at a point where why is this card here? We feel like we don't have a choice. No, it's walking away. Somebody's walking away here. There's full moon energy. Maybe somebody walked away around the full moon. Or there's a full moon coming up. It's a full moon in Capricorn. I think on the 21st of June, which is in Cancer season. So there's just this energy of you finally being able to let go of something that abandoned you. And get a complete new start. You're finally able to let go of something that abandoned you. Of feeling left behind or rejected. You're finally able to let that go. And then we have, let's see, let's, let's do day four. We have the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles coming out together. So it's like, once again, a new sense of who I am. A new sense of independence. Also, a new refresh refreshment on the um, resources that I have. Because it's like I can finally, I finally have them again. Right? Maybe after being walked away from or getting away from what didn't want you. Now there's a sense of, oh, being able to take action on what you want. Or investing in yourself. Or simply put, having your money back into your control so you can do what you want with it. Basically feeling good in your own power. And finding contentment then in the disappointments. Finding happiness in what is in front of you as opposed to what was behind you. It's almost like in some ways saying, I am so glad and I am so grateful That I lost what I lost. Realizing that you're the winner here, not the loser. And I got to tell you, God, I really want to know what, what, what came out, what information came out. We're going to figure it out. And then we have the star card here. Want to know why? Because what comes next is so much better than what you've lost. And it is really what you aspired for. So Scorpio, in a lot of ways this week for you, whenever it starts and whenever it finishes, is about you coming back online and actually whatever left you, you're going to be really happy it left you. Because there's something on the other side here that is like so much better. This is Aquarian energy. These disappointments are in the past and you're standing in your own power. Can we just get this one answer, God? What was this information that came through? What was the information for Scorpio that's coming through to make everything? It's the tower. So that something had crumbled, that something had fallen apart. And it, it, like, in other words, it was already over. Something was already finished. And there was just a lot of anxiety of accepting that. But once you see this energy of, um, or something fell apart and came down, and that actually liberated you from whatever had rejected you or made you stuck. Realizing that, that something, something fell apart. 
And I don't think it had anything to do with you. It was outside of you. The tower is something bigger than you. So something fell apart. And it's information that something had fallen apart and that there's the rubble. And now you don't have to feel like so broken down for having lost it or missed it. Because guess what? It was set to be destroyed. And because of that, you, you weren't in the burning building when it happened. And then there's your opportunity. Let's get a moon card. A new start is coming. Guess what? There's a new moon coming. It's a new moon in Gemini. It's coming, I think... I think it's on the 6th. We have our timeline, my friends. This is a new moon. A brand new start. A brand new beginning. It's all starting now. Let's look at the resolution. You know what? Let's leave the resolution card the 7th day for the extended reading. I want you guys to come over with me. But for right now, what I'm going to do is dig down into... What is this new start? So we have time to go. It's time to move forward. That just, just know that spirit wants you to know that. It's time to get moving. And I think your energy, it looks like your energy is being restored to the point where you can feel it's it's like it's like you're ready to move on. And you have a lot of nines here, right? And four plus five adds up to the nine. It's almost like you're going to feel secure in, your, in and of yourself enough, nine of cups. And you're going to have the resources, nine of pentacles, in and of yourself. You, it's, like, it's like perfect timing. You, you have everything that you need to move forward when you have the opportunity when the door opens. And that's what's happening to you this week. And then we have to the sea, which means you could actually be traveling. Right? But it also definitely means like it's refreshment and relieving for your soul. Because when you travel back to the sea, you get this energy of being cleansed. And then we have blessed. That says it all. Time to go to the sea, blessed. Some of you may actually be going to the sea, toward the sea, on the sea, spending time by the sea. Or let me say this to you. Get your asses there because this message is coming through loud and clear. Yeah, we're going to do the angel card and I'm going to invite you over to the extended. The link is down below. My friends, we're going to go deeper. We're going to get more answers and we're going to read the seventh day and then foray into the extended i will see you guys there link is pinned to the top of the comment section it is also at the top of the description box it's also always on my website under the extended readings and always on vimeo so i will see you guys there